हेलो हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू बायोलॉजी लर्निंग इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई वाज डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सेकंड चैप्टर इन द बायोलॉजी दैट इज रेस्पिरेशन सो वी हैड कंप्लीटेड टिल दिस पार्ट वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन द रेस्पिरेशन दैट टेक्स प्लेस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज कॉल्ड एज एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन द respiration that takes place in the absence of oxygen is called as anaerobic respiration <laughs> the produced energy is stored in the mitochondria in the form of atp that is adenosine triphosphate whatever produced energy it will be stored in mitochondria in the form of atp that's the reason whenever we need energy we get it from the mitochondria that's the reason it is called as power house of the cell yeah this is the sketch of the mitochondria this is the outer membrane and the inner membrane two membranes are there outer membrane and inner membrane the folded like structures are called as cristae and the this inner part is called as matrix and here what happens is uh, the glucose breakdown is happening the glucose breakdown is happening and the energy is released in the form of energy the energy is stored in the form of atp that is adenosine triphosphate and this energy is nothing but it is the small packet of uh, that is small packets of chemical energy it is nothing but adenosine triphosphate is nothing but it is the small packets of energy and these are called as energy currency energy currency that is whenever needed we can use this energy that is wherever whenever this energy is required in the cell it supplies the energy to the whole cell if the cell is requiring some energy from this mitochondria only the energy is supplied to each and every part of the cell that is the reason it is also called as power house of the cell and each atp <coughs> molecule gives 7200 calories of energy one atp molecule one atp molecule is giving 7200 calories of energy and energy is stored in the form of phosphate bonds the energy will be stored in the form of phosphate bonds and if the bond is broken this uh this phosphate bond is broken then the energy is released in this way mitochondria is giving energy to the whole cell it is the uh, it is storing the energy and it is releasing the energy whenever the phosphate bond is broken and it is supplying energy to the whole cell that is the reason it is called as power house of the cell next uh, at cellular level Uh, we could have the following pathway starting with the glucose right glucose pyruvate that is three carbon compound plus energy glycolysis if it is uh, happening in the absence or low amount of energy it is called as anaerobic respiration and fermentation so it leads to the formation of lactic acid and energy example in the in which organism it is taking place that is lactobacillus and in the absence of uh, absence or low amount of oxygen if the respiration is happening that is called as anaerobic respiration or also it is called as fermentation it is uh, this process is called as fermentation yeah where ethanol plus carbon dioxide plus energy has is been released from the glucose that is it is it happens in yeast yeah in the presence of oxygen it is called as aerobic respiration so in in general we have two types of respiration one is aerobic respiration and one more is anaerobic respiration the aerobic respiration is the respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration is the respiration that takes place in the absence of oxygen yeah in the presence of oxygen we get carbon dioxide plus water plus energy this happens in the in the presence of oxygen this happens in most of the plants and animals yeah and then yeah can energy be released without oxygen yeah 
that is after undergoing a strenuous ex exercise we feel pain in muscles does adequate oxygen reach to the muscles what is being formed in the muscles yes whenever uh, uh, whenever any athlete is running or uh, he uh, he or she they will not use any amount of oxygen and they run uh, so many meters uh, even without taking any oxygen inside that is the reason uh, the this atp molecule gets broken into adp that is adenosine triphosphate is getting broken into adenosine diphosphate and uh, the there is no oxygen supply at all and the lactic acid gets accumulated with because of which uh, there will be pain in the muscles right uh, <coughs> yeah here uh, you can see the graph of concentration of lactic acid in blood that is this is the concentration of lactic acid in blood and time how much time this graph is showing the effect of vigorous exercise on the concentration of lactic acid in the blood so the concentration of lactic acid is going on increasing and at a point it reaches and then it goes on decreasing this accumulation of lactic acid results in yeah because the person who is uh, doing the strenuous exercise he or she is not in taking the oxygen so the accumulation of lactic acid takes place and that results in the muscular pain if we walk brisk walk or slow jogging running for some distance we feel that there is an increase in the pain levels in the this is because of the lactic acid accumulation we feel that there is increase in the muscular pain and after that after doing all this activity strenuous activity if we relax then we uh, take the long breath long uh, long inhalations and exhalations if we take again the oxygen level will increase and uh, uh, yeah that that is the reason we go even we have to do the yoga right the simplest explanation is at this stage the sugar in the working muscles was being changed to whatever sugar was there that is c12 h22 o11 this is being changed to lactic acid the sugar is being changed to the lactic acid and the because oxygen is not supplied and then uh, lactic acid gets formed and it gets accumulated in the muscles that leads to the muscular pain the energy stored in the lactic acid molecules is less than that in the sugar molecules right here energy is less energy is less in case of lactic acid when compared to the sugar here energy is more and if the acid comes from the sugar then the energy released could be used to rebuild atp from adp and phosphate yeah as uh, the athlete is uh, running or any uh, person who is do doing the strenuous activity atp has been converted into adp right so this has to be again converted back to atp to regain that uh, energy and then uh, reduce the muscular pain so this is the graph which is showing the y axis is concentration of lactic acid in the blood which is measured in mg per cent centimeter cube and uh, x axis is time in minutes what is fermentation fermentation is also one of the anaerobic respiration where we, in the absence of oxygen the respiration is taking place so fermentation is a metabolic process that produces chemical changes in organic substrates substrates through the action of enzymes yeah it is narrowly defined as extraction of energy from the carbohydrates in the absence of oxygen so mainly here oxygen is not present that is the reason it is called as fermentation or it is also called as an aerobic respiration hmm. uh this we will experience in case of uh, uh, dosa batter and idli batter when it is uh, kept outside not in refrigerator for a long time then it gets fermented even because of fermentation process only the curd is also getting formed right so this is your fermentation hmm. next 
respiration versus combustion right so uh, lavo lavoisier he around 18th century through a series of carefully performed experiments came to the opinion that respiration was a process like combustion right he wrote in a compilation in 1783 that respiration is nothing but it is a combustion process it is a very slow process respiration and here oxygen is not only combines with carbon but also with hydrogen that is robinson another person robinson also stated that that respiration is a type of combustion and combustion is the source of heat in animals so respiration and combustion are uh, like respiration is also a type of combustion that is the relation between respiration and combustion and uh, heat is produced by living organisms that is heat production was feature of burning glucose or sugar as you observe yeah living animals and plants usually produce energy in the form of heat right so whenever uh, there is burning of glucose or sugar c12 h22o11 or uh, glucose c6h Twelve o six. Then, uh, <coughs> when when this is getting reduced, that is when this burning of sugar or glucose takes place in animals and or uh, the plants. It produces enormous amount of energy, and that energy, some of the energy is lost in the form of heat. The energy that the it it gets out in the form of heat. that is uh, here we can discuss about what are the other ways in which our body loses the heat heat is constantly lost from the body surface that it must be continuously generated within our bodies to replace what has been lost to the keep the body temperature constant yeah whenever energy is released the heat is also released that's the reason the body loses the heat is the rate of heat production always the same no in in the course of vigorous activity that is whenever we are doing a lot of exercise or uh, any muscular activities a greater amount of heat is generated right we know that we feel hot after some some form of strenuous exercise such as running when we are running or doing the treadmill or uh, cycling any strenuous exercise will lead to greater amount of heat will be generated out yes so every time the rate of heat production will not be same it will differ whenever we are relaxing the amount of heat generated is very very less whenever we are doing some strenuous exercise the amount of heat generated is very high yeah <clears throat> so next we will discuss about how the evolution of gases exchanging system is there that is in unicellular organisms how the gas exchange is happening and when it comes to higher organisms multicellular organisms how the gas exchange is happening all these things we will step by step for each organism or by taking an example we will study that is single celled organism amoeba or multicellular organisms like hydra planarians round worms and earthworms obtain oxygen and they uh, expel the carbon dioxide directly from the process of diffusion so they undergo the process of diffusion and they intake oxygen and expel the carbon dioxide out so this happens in single celled organisms like amoeba or also some multicellular organisms like hydra and planarians round worms these all undergo this type of diffusion in in case of this diffusion the oxygen is taken inside and the carbon dioxide is expelled out right next exam next level we will see in other multicellular or uh, animals special organs are evolved next that was happening by diffusion here special organs are evolved animals like terrestrial or aquatic develop different types of respiration and possess different types of respiratory organs mostly depending on the habitat yeah depending upon where they are living they possess different types of respiratory organs and depending upon their body size availability of water and the type of the circulatory system uh, yeah they develop different types of respiratory organs and uh, there is like tracheal respiratory system in insects like cockroach grasshopper 
this is called as tracheal respiratory system it consists of series of tubes called trachea so it consists of series of tubes like this that those are called as trachea and this is divided into fine branches those are called as tracheoles these tracheoles will carry air directly to the cells in the tissues so in case of cockroach and grasshopper we have tracheal respiratory system yeah in every organisms how the exchange of gases is taking place how it is being evolved that we are discussing yeah now coming to aquatic animals like fishes they have developed some special organs for respiration which is known as gills or branchiae so the blood supplied to gills through capillaries which have thin walls where gases are exchanged so uh, yeah through capillaries the gases are exchanged and main organ is gills this is called as branchial respiration <coughs> fish keeps its mouth open and lowers the floor of the oral activity as a result water from outside will be drawn into the oral cavity now the mouth is closed and the floor of the oral cavity is raised water is pushed into the pharynx and is, it is forced to gill pouches through internal branchial apertures so gill lamellae are bathed in with water and gaseous exchange takes place so through this gill lamellae the <coughs> gaseous exchange is taking place yeah and when it comes to uh, some some organisms that is respiration through skin also can happen respiration through skin is called as cutaneous respiration that is when when the breathing is happening through skin it is called as cutaneous respiration frog especially this frog that is amphibian can respire through cutaneous and pulmonary respiration so it has both cutaneous through skin also it can this frog will can breathe through skin also and also through the lungs so it it processes as well as <coughs> buccopharyngeal cavity terrestrial animals like reptiles birds and animals respire through lungs so amphibian like frog it respires through skin that kind of respiration through skin is called as cutaneous respiration yeah now we will discuss about the respiration in plants here main or main organ which is helping in respiration or exchange of gases is stomata so this is the uh this part is called as stomata and these are the air spaces and there is a water film here so th this leaf is in this case the leaf is acting like a respiratory organ in case of plants sometimes lentils these lentils can also act as respiratory on uh, respiratory organs they are present on the stem when we take a particular lentil and take a cross section we are getting like this structure so this this kind of respiration happens in plants so how the conduction is happening within the plants that is the stomatal openings leads to a series of spaces between the cells inside the plants so the stomatal openings the stomatal op these are called as stomatal openings they are leading to various cells inside the plants which forms a continuous network so it is leading to various cells and that forms like this complete network will be there in the plants or in on the leaf um, <coughs> yeah then these spaces are very large in the leaves much smaller in other parts of the plant so in case of leaves uh, the this uh, network is very large that is stomatal opening leads to continuous network all over the plant and this uh, network is very large in case of plants whereas it is very small in case of other parts of the plant and this air spaces are lined with water where the oxygen is dissolved in this and passes through the porous cells of porous cell walls into the cytoplasm <laughs> yeah and then here the sugar is broken down into carbon dioxide and water with the liberation of energy so in this place what happens the sugar is broken down into carbon dioxide and water so enormous amount of energy is also liberated so the carbon dioxide passes out into the air spaces by a similar method and the whole system works by diffusion so this process where the 
कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड ऑक्सीजन आर गेटिंग एक्सचेंज द होल सिस्टम इज वर्किंग विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफ्यूजन एज द ऑक्सीजन इज यूज अप बाई द सेल्स अ ग्रेडियंट डेवलप बिटवीन द सेल्स एंड द एयर इन द स्पेसिस दैट इज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन डिफरेंस द ग्रेडियंट विल बी डेवलपिंग बिटवीन द सेल्स एंड एयर इन द एयर इन द स्पेसिस एंड सिमिलरली बिटवीन द एयर इन द स्पेसिस एंड द एयर आउटसाइड द स्टोमेटा एंड लेंटिल्स सो ऑक्सीजन पासिस इन या देर इज डिफरेंस इन द air pressure that's why the oxygen enters and in the same way the carbon dioxide is released by the cell as the gradient as the concentration gradient occurs the carbon dioxide will be released outside the cell and in the reverse direction and it passes out to the environment in this way exchange of gases that is conduction is taking place in the plants yeah this is called as aeration of roots that is breathing uh <coughs> the oxygen intake by the roots aerial or the respiratory roots how the oxygen is taken inside that is the oxygen is inhaled by the oxygen is inhaled by the roots here that is called as aeration of roots oxygen is inhaled by the roots though that process is called as aeration of the roots yeah uh, <coughs> this equation is the photosynthesis represents the photosynthesis process where carbon dioxide and water are mixed in the presence of light energy and chlorophyll that is in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll we get sugar plus oxygen right so after balancing the equation we are getting six carbon dioxide molecules are combined with 12 water molecules in the presence of light energy and chlorophyll to give sugar uh, that is in the form of glucose plus water plus oxygen has is been re released this is the photosynthesis process that is taking place in plants so this respiration is also taking place in plants we will understand how the respiration is taking place in plants respiration is not just the exchange of gases it is the process of breakdown of complex food molecules or a catabolic process to produce chemical or potential energy so here uh, it is breakdown of complex food molecules into simpler food molecules in the presence of oxygen to produce chemical or potential energy so oxygen is getting mixed with sugar and carbon dioxide plus water plus energy is being released so the exact glucose plus oxygen we get six molecules of carbon dioxide six molecules of water and energy is being released so yeah this is the photosynthesis process that is occurring in plants this is the respiration process that is occurring in plants yeah we will understand yeah this uh, uh, same respiration in plants and photosynthesis in plants this occurs in mitochondria and this is occurring in chloroplast here the carbohydrates are burned into chemical energy to function at the cellular level and here uh, produce to sugar starch and other carbohydrates which cater the metabolic needs of the plants yeah here uh, sugar is being produced in the photosynthesis process sugar is being produced here carbon dioxide is released sugar is sugar breakdown is happening in respiration right uh, photosynthesis and respiration appear to be opposing reactions but both may have different biochemical pathways and are essential for a plant's me metabolism they when we see the equation also they both appear to be having different biochemical pathways and they they seem to be in opposing reactions but they are essential for a plant's metabolism during day time the rate of photosynthesis is usually higher than that of respiration because sunlight is present at night it is just reverse so at night more amount of res respiration is happening and less amount of photosynthesis ha happening and at day time more photosynthesis is happening and less respiration is happening so that is the contrast you know, that is the relation between the respiration and photosynthesis and the temperature humidity light intensity all these also affect the ratio of photosynthesis and respiration in plants so this is about the how the respiration is happening in different organisms uh, we have discussed the respiration in human beings respiration in different animals and respiration in plants and what is the uh, how it is differing that is uh, uh, what is the difference between uh, respiration and photosynthesis 
respiration is also happening in plants and photosynthesis is also taking place in plants so what is the relationship that also we have discussed yeah and most importantly these chemical reactions we have discussed in case of photosynthesis carbon dioxide plus water uh, in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll it is getting converted into sugar plus oxygen and yeah and then uh, respiration is nothing but breaking down of sugar uh, they both are reverse they both are they both are opposing reaction but both are taking place in plants and photosynthesis uh, takes place uh, that is more amount of photosynthesis is taking place during day during day and uh, respiration during day it is less but whereas during night the photosynthesis is less respiration is more yeah so we have discussed how the conduction is happening within the plants and what is the respiration in plants different organisms how the respiratory organs are developed and how the respiration is taking place yeah this is like evolution in gases exchanging system first it used to happen just by diffusion later on when it comes to different multicellular organisms different organs start developing started developing and the exchange of uh, gases took place so all these things we have discussed right and uh, how the heat is produced whenever we are doing some strenuous activity why the heat is produced and what is the relation between respiration and combustion what is fermentation right all these things we have discussed and mainly we have discussed about the mitochondria why the mitochondria is called as powerhouse of the cell i want you to go through the complete two videos of uh, the second chapter that is uh, respiration um, next video i will be giving you the important questions and the complete summary of this respiration so if you go through these two videos properly then you can understand the uh, summary and even you can answer different uh, various questions question and answers that are related to the respiration thank you thank you dear students